Hello, I want to show you how we turn your printout into your magazine. So what you do is you print it out and don't be worried if some of your images are right side up and some of them are upside down. That's the way it's supposed to be because first you fold it this way. It's really important that um, it's really important that you make these it's really important that you make the corners match up perfectly and that you fold it and that you really do this again and again. I like to fold it back and forth a couple of times. Get this really nice. Then we do the same thing. We fold it in half and then in half again. So we've got, so when we're done with our folding, we've got all nice and tight and it's in eight separate squares. And now here is the big moment of truth. We fold it in half so the short lengths meet. Take it like this and we make the cut. And you want to also do this very carefully. It only goes halfway. Oops, it's a little hard to see in the light. There we go. So you make this cut exactly it's just the bottom of one of these eight squares. So you see, make this cut on one of these eight squares. And when you fold, when you fold this back, you have, you have a cut so that when you fold it back, oh, you do it, you do it like this. You have to, you have to pop, you, you pop these out. This is why it's really important that you fold it nice and tight because when you actually put it back, put it together. It all comes together incredibly nicely. We're gonna just keep folding it and bang, we have our newspaper. Automatic drawing, a little bit about automatic drawing and an image by Jean Arp. Our next page is our whole thing and made with Oh, it's backwards. Uh, there you go. Have fun folding uh, your, your zines, your mini newspapers, and have a great day. Thank you.